Hey, welcome to Yellowstone National Park. Uh, we just drove up yesterday from Grand Tetons and spent a week down there. We're now going to spend a week up here, actually a little more than a week, and we're really looking forward to seeing the park. We haven't been here since um, 2016, 17. 2017. We were on the motorcycle back then and we came and um, toured the park. But we're only here for a couple days, so this time we're going to be here for a whole week and we're going to get lots of hiking in and um, hopefully enjoy enjoy our wonderful national parks. So I hope you join us and enjoy the park with us. Thanks for watching, please subscribe. Okay, so throughout this video, I'm gonna be talking about the figure eight and I thought I'd share with you what I'm referring to. The roads that make up Yellowstone are two large circles in the shape of an eight, top circle, bottom circle. And we've got multiple entrances, the north entrance, west entrance, south entrance, southeast, northeast, and that's actually what they're labeled. Uh, some of the key points that I want to point out is like Old Faithful is down here on the southwest corner. Um, the canyon up here at the middle of the figure eight on the east side. Uh, the arch is up here by the north entrance. And of course you got the lake. And so the, that's, I just want to give you a quick overview of the, the figure eight that I keep referring to. Um, I'm sure you can probably find this map online before you come to Yellowstone if you want to look things up. Alright, so we're on the southwest side of the figure eight of Yellowstone. And we're on Fire Hole Canyon Drive. Fire Hole Canyon Drive. It's a little two mile loop and we found an absolutely fabulous waterfall. I'm going to lift the camera up here and take a quick look at it. Very noisy, but very beautiful. Yes. A little further upstream from Firehole Falls. Fountain paint pots. Don't know if you can hear it, but it's bubbling. It's bubbling. Bubble, bubble, toil in trouble. That's Angel. That's not the paint pot. Okay, we're now at the Grand Prismatic Springs. Very, very colorful. However, it's chilly enough that all we really see is more steam than anything else. So we are just north of Old Faithful on one of the boardwalks. And this is Sapphire Pool. There we go. It's just amazing how deep it is and how dark blue it is. And how clear it is. And how clear it is. And then how it changes colors from blue to white. As the water cools, it changes color of all the microbes. Black Dragon Cauldron. That is really gray and muddy. But interesting, the other side of that is all green. And off in the distance, you see more steam from geysers on the other side of the woods. One big giant volcano underneath us. This is Dragon Mouth Spring. And the reason they call it Dragon Mouth It actually sounds like a dragon as he's blowing out steam. I hope that's coming through.
Okay, so this is what they call a buffalo jam, where all the traffic comes to a stop by buffalo cross the road. Well, we're almost there to the famous geyser. Okay, here we are at Old Faithful. One thing I remember about this from 2017 is the crowds. Old Faithful has got to be the most visited place. But there's my timing. Wow. Wow. Look at that peach. There's a lot of water coming out. Oh my goodness. Very steamy because it's still pretty chilly out here. It's slowing down. Don't know if you can actually hear it, but it is thundering just a little bit as the water comes out of the ground. And that looks like it's just wrapping up a little bit. A little more. We've been doing this for two and a half minutes now. 90 minutes, I think it is, in between. Well, there we go, just at three minutes. Okay, so for this version of Old Faithful going off, we've decided to go up to Observation Point and watch it from way up there. I can't even see where the top of the mountain is. But it's a uh, half mile hike, not bad at all. Hey, there it goes. Okay, so we're doing <laughs> Old Faithful again, but this time we're doing it from the Observation Point Quite a ways above. There we go. There's about a half mile hike up here. Wow, listen to the crowd. <laughs> Boy, you can really see it today, Peach. Oh yeah, much better than the, uh, the other day. Woohoo, look at it going up there. I see the water in the parking lot. So if you get an opportunity, take the hike up to Observation Point to watch from up here. Much better view. Hey, so we're out walking the boardwalk behind the Visitor Center at Old Faithful. It's uh, quite a few geysers out here. The one behind us is called Giant Geyser. They're everywhere all along the boardwalk. The boardwalk's probably three, four miles long. And we're just spending the day walking all the boardwalks and going out to all of them. So I just wanted to show you a giant glazer guys were just because we're good. <laughs> Easy for you to say. <laughs> Obviously not. I hope you're enjoying your uh, time at Yellowstone with us. 
So we have another interesting looking geyser called Punch Bowl. It's just really cool. So I thought I'd do a short clip of this one. Right before we get to Black Sand Pool. We call him Thumper. But he's off the beaten path and almost no one ever goes out to him. But we'll, we'll do another video when we get there. Okay, this was our destination for the day. It's called Black Sand Pool, but we call it Thumper. And about every five minutes, the ground shakes and vibrates as air bubbles come out somewhere and it starts bubbling in the, in the, um, in the pool. Um, we found this six years ago in 17 when we asked the ranger what his favorite place was to go. And this is what he told us about. We hiked all the way out here. Um, so far on our GPS tracker, we have walked 4.48 miles uh, from the visitor center at Old Faithful. So uh, it just went off. It'll be about five more minutes before it goes off again. Cool destination hike. And you get to see all the other geysers and um, pools on your way out to here. It's all along the boardwalk, really easy walk. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed today's hike and we'll talk to y'all later. A couple things about this, so I wanted to do another little clip here, is about every five minutes the ground shakes and then you'll see a bunch of bubbles come up. There's I think the it's, bubbles, baby. yeah, there, there's the bubbles right there just now coming up if you can see them. Um, so it's about every five minutes the ground shakes and bubbles comes up. It's really kind of cool to, to feel and hear the whole ground vibrate. But the other cool thing about this one is there's virtually no one else here <laughs> as opposed to everyone over at the visitor center by Old Faithful. Yeah, the last um, uh, where the boardwalks end is called Punch Bowl Geyser. Um, and then there's just a dirt trail that goes off. And if you take that dirt trail, it comes down here. You can see the little puffs of steam up in the air. So it's worth it. It's really fun. All right. Well, hope you all make it out here. Okay. We've been out hiking the uh, geyser basin around the Old Faithful Visitor Center. We did just over six miles today. By the way, we took the straight road back from Thumper and it was only one and a half miles. It took us four and a half to get there because we did roundabout ways. But uh, I think we're done with uh, this area. And I think tomorrow, weather permitting, we're going to head off to the canyon and to the falls. And that'll bring us into Memorial Day weekend. Depending on the crowds and traffic, we may just stay in the RV for a little bit. So anyhow, that wraps up this side of the Yellowstone. Starting tomorrow, we're going to be doing the east side of Yellowstone. Hope you're enjoying your trip to Yellowstone with us. Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. This is the Lower Falls. The brink of the falls, which we're going to hike to, will get us out to where those people are. We're at Lookout Point right now. And we're thinking we're going to hike down to that trail there and look at the falls from below. Still working our way down. As you can see, we're getting closer, but we still gotta keep going down. Nothing wrong with going down, it's just uh, turning around and going back up to the truck that I'm worried about. What do you think, Ainge, can we do it? Huh? What do you think, can we do it? I think we can do it. I don't think we have a choice. I don't think we have a choice. <laughs> we just go slow. Yep, that's where we're going. All right, so we made it to the bottom of that trail. It's not the bottom of the canyon, but, <laughs> but it's a really good view of the lower falls. Um, we're not sure if we're gonna do the brink or not, just because everyone's telling us there's no good photos there. It's just really loud and cool to watch the water, but no good photos, so I don't know if we'll go up there or not. But we still gotta go down to the, uh, uh, down the canyon, and then we're gonna go all the way around and try and do upper falls as well, so. What do you think, Ainge? Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's a pretty steep climb down here, um, so it's going to be a pretty steep climb back, but it's pretty short. It's not yeah. super, super long. Maybe maybe a half mile, if that, I would, yeah. I would say. And then the last part of it's a boardwalk 
um, and the whole thing is paid so, until you get to the board box. So it's pretty. It'll it'll it's be easy. tough going up. It's it's easy coming down, but it'll be tough going up. <laughs> but it's worth it. It's it, absolutely yeah, for gorgeous this view. view. Hello, yeah. hello. There's the beautiful fall. It's gorgeous. Okay. Hope you're enjoying your trip to uh, Yellowstone with us. <laughs> We're gonna keep going. Still in Canyon Village. We just came back up the hill from the viewing point of Lower Falls and now we're at Grand View, which is a grand view of the canyon. Ah. <laughs> and it really can't do it justice. So we've made it to Inspiration Point. This is the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. And if you look way off there in the distance, you can actually see the lower falls that we had hiked to earlier. Highly recommend Inspiration Point so you can view the canyon. Still over in the canyon. This is Upper Falls. My understanding, this is about a hundred and some odd foot drop, where Lower Falls was a 300 foot drop. They just opened this section of the road this morning. We're at 80, almost 8,700 feet above sea level, and there is still snow everywhere. Now we know why, and it's going to continue to climb too, by the way. Now we know why they didn't open it until now. 8,850 feet, I think is what it was. 8,850. It's the highest elevation I've been quoted so far. Now you can see why they just now opened the road today. North entrance, Yellowstone National Park. Created by an act of Congress, March 1, 1872, for the benefit and enjoyment of the people. That is the Roosevelt Arch. Bison jam. Uh-oh, they're starting to run. Everyone slam on the brakes and stop. Nope. Look at all the babies. Look at all the babies. How cool. Oh, they're going to walk right next to us. Look how cute that little guy is. Look how cute they are. Oh, we got one going in front of the truck. Oh, we got babies going in front of the truck. I can almost reach out and touch them. I know. And there's still a whole bunch more down there. There's a whole bunch more coming. Look at the little babies. Oh. oh, this one stopped the nurse right there. Look at that. Ooh, he still has his umbilical cord. So is that one. So cool. We have a few more. This is one big, giant valley or basin of nothing but geysers. Five miles below the surface. It's the closest to the surface up here. Um, in this particular basin. The volcano, the... Yes. Is only four or five miles south, or underneath us. So we're doing Norris Geyser Basins, the hottest part of Yellowstone. This big gray bubbling mess is called Congress Pool. I'm wondering if there's any sort of symbolism there. <laughs> That one is called Black Growler Steam Vent. 
it's been blowing steam out like that since we got here. So this is Steamboat. Hey. The last major eruption was back in the middle of the night on May 7th. There is no schedule on this one. But look at the devastation from the steam and all the chemicals going up that way. Kind of amazing. So Angel, how are you enjoying your week in Yellowstone? Oh my goodness, it's fantastic. It's been wonderful. This is given falls and I'm, there's just so much to see here. It's beautiful. Okay, great. I'm glad you're enjoying it. So this morning we went into Yellowstone for our last full day while camping in West Yellowstone. And the line to get through the entrance to the park was out to the light. So following a suggestion of Instagram buddy at Big Ben 27, we decided to go up to Olsa Falls. And holy cow, is it worth the hike. Okay, so this morning we went to go into Yellowstone to go down to the fishing bridge and the west gate entrance was backed up all the way into West Yellowstone at that traffic light. We turned around. That was ridiculous to have that many cars in front of yes, us. Yes, it was. <laughs> so on the suggestion of an Instagram buddy, BiggerBen27, we decided to come out and try the uh, Ansel, or however it's pronounced, uh, uh, O-U-S-E-L, Osel. Osel Falls. Osel Falls Trail. Absolutely beautiful. Yes, gorgeous. I'm sure you've already seen lots of videos and pictures of the falls by the time you get to this section of the video. So, um, if you get up to Big Sky, Montana from Yellowstone, definitely a recommendation up here. So, the falls was beautiful. Come out and do it. And again, thanks for watching. All right, so we're wrapping up our week in Yellowstone. We're at the Albright Visitor Center up in Mammoth Hot Springs. Um, the week that we've been here has just been absolutely fabulous. We've done all of the uh, figure eight, um, all the way around the top circle and bottom circle. There's tons of wildlife. We've seen bear, elk, and more bison than you can shake a stick at. Um, there was a, a highlight this morning with some bison. Yes, it was so much fun. We were coming from the west entrance, coming up to Mammoth Hot Springs, and we looked up and the, the uh, cars were starting to slow down and we saw going the other way, a whole herd of bison with all the little babies. I mean, Bob could have put his hand out the window and touched them. They were so close. And it was just, that was spectacular. You'll, was you'll see, cool. the, you've probably already seen the video by the time you're seeing this. Yes. <laughs> so, um, the only thing that I'm gonna say about it, a little bit of disappointment is Mammoth Hot Springs. Last time we were here in 17, everything was flowing. There was water everywhere in different colors. Yep. And, and everything is dried up. Not sure if it's from the flood they had last year or, or whatever, but. Well, uh, and the, the ranger, we talked to the ranger and she said it was due to, it changes all the time, but it didn't look, it doesn't look that way. It looks like it's just, I mean, there was hardly any water flowing anywhere in the spring. So yeah. I don't know. So Mammoth Hot Springs is a little bit of a disappointment, but yep. the rest of the park as always is absolutely spectacular especially when we were going up over Mount Washbourne, all the snow, they had just opened the road that yes. day that we were doing it. Uh, just gorgeous. So I'm, I'm sure you probably have already been here or had it on your bucket list to do Yellowstones, but I, you, you gotta come out and do it. So. Yes, definitely. I mean, when you think about the fact that you're inside of a volcano, if you picture Mount St. Helens and how it blew off, well, this is a massive volcano and we are driving around in the caldera of the volcano and to me that is just it's freaky scary. but like i said if it blows cool if it blows up you wouldn't know that's it. right you never know, you never know and it'd it be over so
But anyhow, um, thanks for coming along. I hope you enjoyed your trip to Yellowstone with us. Um, from here, we're heading up to Glacier. Uh, we've been to Glacier before, but we're going to go up there and do it again, Glacier National Park. So I hope you enjoyed this trip. And again, always thanks for watching. And please, if you haven't already, subscribe. Yeah, see you in Glacier. Bye.